Yo, what's going on guys? Space Kong here. So we have the new Justice Festival out and with that festival comes quests. But you can only do three a day which kind of sucks. So that means you only get three of the reward boxes a day which is going to be a very long grind as opposed to doing it all in one big go. So, oh and look who else I found. <laughs> so I found Deltia here and he wants to, he's really curious to find out what I get from these crates as well. So without further ado, let's check this shit out. So far he managed to get some trash recipes, so hopefully I get something a little bit better. Okay, so I've got a memento and a trash recipe, so that sucks. Okay, another memento, and what do we have here? We have some furnishings, nice! Next up, okay, another memento and the same furnishing. Okay, so that's pretty good. Uh, I. I mean, they're exclusive furnishings, so we might as well use it and try and get as many as we can because we're going to have a lot of houses to fill. So I got two of the same type and I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, if they're rare or not, or if there are any other furnishings we can get. So if there are any items that you get and I don't put post a video on it, let me know what it is or send a picture or something so I know what it is. because. To show everyone what the possible rewards we can get is going to be very slow considering we only get three of these boxes a day. So, I mean, that kind of sucks. The only thing is, we found out that these items are bound. So, yeah, you can't actually trade them with anyone. Uh, I'm not sure about the trophies. You'd probably be able to trade them. But as for the furnishings, you can't. And this cool little crown here that I'm also wearing you get from completing all three of the quests and I believe there's only three quests so far I can only tell that there's three quests there's a lot of achievements but I don't know if all of them have anything to do with quests kind of like in the previous festival like with the mud balls where you just go around and throw mud balls at people and then that, that counts as the quest but if you want to get the extra achievement you have to throw the mud balls at the three leaders of each of the factions so it's kind of a bit like that, but what we do know is obviously you have the mementos in this event, but you can get the gold mementos, kind of like the mud pouch bag. So it gives you an unlimited amount of that memento. So far I have no idea which one it's going to be though, because there are quite a few mementos. But as soon as I find out, I'll be sure that you guys know. So for the Jester Festival furnishings I got, here they are, this is at my house, and they do look quite cool, but it would be cool to have some other rewards that we can get. I don't know what other ones we can get, but hopefully it's more than just these little flags here. Also, what I think they should implement in the player housing is a size adjustment. So, say if you have a flag and you want it to be a bit bigger, you can sort of scale it to a bigger size. I think that would work pretty well, and it would make things a lot easier to build. As for the event itself, I think it's kind of going to get a bit boring if it's the same quest every day. I mean, it wasn't so bad the last event where we had nine quests, but you could do all nine of them a day. And, you know, you sort of mix up a bit. But three quests every day, the same quest. It's going to get a little bit boring, so hopefully there's something a little bit better. But anyway, that's all for now, guys. So I hope you've enjoyed this video and found it useful. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future, please leave a like and subscribe. And as always, guys, have yourselves a great day. Peace.